Hello everyone. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today our message comes from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 24 verses 15. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Now, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors serve in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorite in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Choose for yourself the one you worship. As for me and my household, we will worship God Almighty. God invites all people to have a personal relationship with him, but he does not force himself on people. He gives us the choice and we have to decide for ourselves whom we will serve. As for Joshua and his family, Serving God is not merely a one-time choice. For those who follow God must continually make the choice to pursue his plans and do what is right. It is a daily decision to follow Christ and to serve God. In the world filled with countless obligation and frequent frustration, we may be tempted to be angry at God blame God and forsake God. Undeniably, these are difficult times for every household generally and Christian households in particular. The pandemic has shaken the foundations of every nation. But thankfully, God is bigger than the pandemic. God is bigger than any virus. God is bigger than our challenges because he is always with us even in our darkest moment. There is joy in serving God. There is joy in following Jesus Christ. Therefore, we must strive to follow Christ at all times, even in the most difficult moments of our life, and receive the reward of eternal life. Choose for yourself who you will worship, who you will serve. As for me and my household, we will worship the Lord Almighty. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We pray for ourselves, our friends and our families. We pray that you be with us in this difficult moment of our national life. We pray that you be with us in this difficult moment of our family lives and our personal lives. We thank you for reminding us that we should choose to serve and follow you. We should choose to worship you, for in you alone we find our hope. Strengthen us as we go through this difficult time of our life. May you continue to bless, protect and guide us in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you soon. Shalom. Ha, ha, ha.